we're going to be solving puzzles and riddles, otherwise known as word problems, using two variables. So here's an example. One number is four less than three times another number. Their sum is 28. Find the numbers. Okay, we could do this with a single variable, and I'm going to do that first to show you that you don't have to use two variables. You can say, well, let's let, we've got two numbers, right? The first number and the second number. And one number is four less than three times the other. So if the first one's n, then the other number is four less, take away four, than three times the other number, 3n minus four. And then we've got that their sum is 28. So if I add them up, I get 28. So if I do n, plus 3n minus 4, it's equal to 28. And then we can go ahead and solve this fairly easily. That's going to be 4n plus, I'm sorry, 4n minus 4 is 28. Subtract 4 from both sides, I'm sorry, add 4 to both sides. To get 4n equals 32. Divide both sides by 4, and n is 8. So we can do this problem with a single variable. n is 8, and here we have the other number is going to be 3 times n, right? So it's 3 times 8 minus 4, and that's going to give you 20. And then we make sure, is it true that their sum is 28, because that's what it said, right, in the problem? And if you check it, you got 20 plus 8. It's 28, so we've got that the numbers are 8 and 28. 8 and 28, okay, so there we are. So that's how to solve this equation using a single variable. Now let's do the same problem using two variables. So here's the problem again. We know we're looking for two numbers, so what we could do is just define them as x and y. So that's how you could start. And then it says one number is four less than three times the number. So we'll take one of the numbers. We have to write two equations if you have two variables. So one number is four less than three times the other number. So x has got to be three y minus four. That's equation one. Okay, what's the second sentence? Their sum is 28. Okay add the two numbers and you get 28. And now we've got two equations. You could use the addition method or the substitution. This is substitution all over the place because you've already solved for x here. So that's easy to plug in for x so that we have 3y minus 4 plus y equals 28. And now it looks exactly like the problem when I only had a single variable. We would have Let's see, sorry. 4y minus 4 is 28. And if you keep solving this, you'll get y is 8. So we go back here. You would get 8. And then I would just plug in 8 for y into this. Plug in y equals 8. And you'll get that x is going to be 20. So solving this problem using two variables. This one's easy to solve either way. Some of them are more difficult unless you're using two variables. Let's go on to another problem. Here's the next problem. The sum of two numbers is 85 and their difference is 9. Find the numbers. Alright, we're looking for two numbers. So let's set up that we have to define two different numbers. So x and y. Now, you could use any two uh, letters for variables you'd like. Okay, so the sum is 85. Well, if those are the two numbers, you'd have x plus y equals 85. That's the first equation. And then it also says their difference is 9. Well, that means if you subtract the two numbers, you get 9. Now, by the way I've written the, uh, these equations, I'm assuming that x is the largest number. It really doesn't matter. You could have put x for the large and or you could have put a y for the large number. But by the way I've written it, it's kind of clear, since their difference is 9, that x must be the bigger number. 
All right, now this one, hmm, this looks like the addition method's going to work nicely because the y's will cancel out. So I have to add the left-hand side, 2x equals 94. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 47. So x is 47. Okay, and what about y? Well, now I need to go back up to one of the two equations to figure out what y is. It really doesn't matter which one you use. So how about I go and plug it in to the second equation, x minus y equals 9, and I know that x is 47, so I'm going to put in 47 for x, 47 minus y equals 9, and then I'm going to add y to both sides, so the y will be on the right-hand side, and I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides, so y is 38. So I know that y is 38. Now I've got to check it. There's some, it says it was supposed to be 85, so let's see, I add up and I got 85, and it says their difference was 9, so now let's take the difference. I got 9, so it checked out. So what's the answer? The numbers are 47 and 38. There's just two numbers. There's no order to it. It didn't ask you which was the smallest, the largest, etc. Remember not to leave your answer as x equals and y equals. Okay, I want to go back up to this. Remember, to find out the y value, once you find the x, it doesn't matter which equation you plug it into. So let's say instead of plugging it into the second equation, I plugged it into the first equation x plus y is 85. So if I take x plus y equals 85, I'm going to plug 47 in for x. I will also get the correct answer here by subtracting 47 from both sides. y equals 38. So remember, you doesn't matter which equation you plug this value back into, it has to be in one of the equations so that you can figure out what Y is.